Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm taking a look at this mini USB dishwasher. That's right, this is supposed to wash a sink full of dishes by itself. But does it really work? I'm kind of skeptical, but let's find out in today's video. All right, there's been some pretty strange gadgets that come across my radar in recent years, but this is definitely up there with some of the weirder ones. What's strange about this one is that it was requested by a viewer in Canada, and thank you very much. So I went on Amazon looking for this and it looked like all of them weren't available until late August, early September. I was able to find one elsewhere though. This one being from the Walmart website, even though it was a third party vendor on Walmart. So I've picked it up for about 30 bucks and I can't wait to get started using it. I already unboxed it, which I'll flash back to right now. All right, here we go. Uh, this box doesn't seem very big. I'm a little bit surprised how small this box is. Let's take a look. Oh, wait a second. Come on now. This is how big it is. This is supposed to wash a bunch of dishes in your sink. I, I thought it was going to be like this big. Let's see what else we got in here. I guess those are suction cups. Looks like it. Uh, some instructions. Wave maker. Super shock wave dishwasher. This is a dishwasher. This is a dishwasher. I really can't wait to see how this is supposed to work. I also read over the instructions, which there's not very much to them. And I almost wonder if this has been repurposed from something else. It just, it just doesn't seem like a dishwasher to me. Does that seem like a dishwasher to you? It doesn't seem like a dishwasher to me. According to the instructions, you have a protective shield, fan leaf, and USB power line. So these poorly written instructions, I, I understand this first step to basically say to fill your sink up to water, which would just cover up some bowls. And then they're saying that you have this sticky backing, which is going to attach the unit to the side of the sink. That's this cute apple-shaped double-sided suction cup. Then for the next step, it says, I'm assuming that means put the dishes in there and add some detergent and then put the sticky backing on the side of the unit. For the final step, it says, uh, let it soak for a minute, add some more warm water and then attach it to the side of the sink. Down here, it says it's gonna run for a couple minutes and the total cycle is 15 minutes. I don't know if I've been this skeptical of something in a long time. If it works, I'm going to be absolutely flabbergasted. All right, the way this is supposed to work is it has two minutes of wave agitation and then one minute of, they say, vibratory sound waves for one minute. It does those cycles five times for a total of 15 minutes. So the first thing I want to do is set it up and make sure it worked okay, kind of do a test run. That didn't really go so great. One reason is because they say to put a small amount of detergent. They don't say how small. I put as much as I would put in the sink if I was washing them by hand, which was way too much. The other thing on my first run I didn't realize is when it does the vibratory sound part, the fan shuts off. I thought it was actually a problem. I actually unplugged it thinking that there was a problem with the unit, but that's actually the way it's supposed to be. It took some finagling to figure out exactly where to place it in the sink, how to get the dishes in there. It's not something that you use the first time and get it right. So I had kind of a tester run. Here's some clips from that. All right, here it is. There's no on off button. All you have to do is just, as soon as you plug it in, it starts running. Watch, I'll plug it in. And there it is. It's kind of, it seems like kind of a somewhat weak USB fan. My thought is how you're going to put a significant amount of dishes in here to really make it worthwhile. If you, if you stack them, they're not going to get clean. I thought about getting a, a dish drying rack, but the problem is that when you put this on the side, you're going to have to have a really small drying rack for that. The dish drying rack that I have is too big. The one I found at Lowe's would have gone all the way to the edge, which would have pre prevented this from going against the side. So I don't think a dish drying rack is going to work. So I'm going to have to do a couple rounds of this until I get it right. So let me put some dishes in here and get started. I'm going to just try to line these up on the side like they show. Oh, oh this is going to go well, I can tell already. I try to hold these in place with a coffee cup. I think I need more water. The next step, I'm supposed to attach this to the side with this apple-shaped suction cup. But I'll just, I'll just stick it on right there, I guess. All right, so I'll stick it there. All right, well, it's sticking. That's good. I got to fill this up some more, though. All right, wow, that's, that's pretty full. They said to add a little detergent. Here we go. Time to plug it in. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, it's, it's spraying. Oh, come on now. It's getting all over my, all over the floor. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, come on now. Maybe it needs to be 
point down. They don't really say. I'm going to point it downward more. Maybe that'll help. Oh, it's worse. <laughs> I push it down into the water more. All right, it's further down in the water. Let me try again. All right, I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. If I can push this a little bit further down, I think I'll be all right. There we go. All right, I think we got something now. I feel like it's going to be a lot of bubbles pretty quickly. Wow, it's, it's disappearing into the bubbles. Okay, probably too much detergent. I'll take, I'll take credit for that one. But they don't say how much. I put as much as I would put in there if I was doing it by hand. I'm trying to be fair here, I'm trying to be fair. So once I got all that figured out, I tried some silverware with some caked on foods and here's how that went. All right, for my first real test, I don't have to fill the sink up nearly as much. I won't add as much detergent. And these are actually dirty dishes, unlike the first that I tested it out with. Just a drop of detergent, boom, that's it. All right, I'm gonna put this much lower. All right, it's almost at the bottom at this point. Oh, it's still spraying. Even that low, it's still spraying out of the sink. And it doesn't go any lower. Let me put some water in here. All right, I can't go any lower than that. So that's as far as it goes. I added water so it's not spraying out as much. It is still spraying out of the sink though. It's getting on the side of the wall over there. But that's as much as I could really do with it. So once we have two minutes of agitation, we have one minute of vibration. So according to the instructions, this is supposed to happen. This is a vibration for one minute. Two minutes of this, one minute of vibration. So I'm gonna let this go for the full 15 minute cycle, come back and see how the silverware looks. Drain the water here. Well, that first spoon looks pretty good. Uh, the knife doesn't look terrible, really. Oh no, here we go. Now this has got some crud still on it. Crud still on the fork. That's, that's gonna be a no on that one. All right, knife. Well, we still got some stuff here too. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh, didn't make a dent on that. The first two were so good, I was had such high hopes for it. All right, that spoon looks pretty good. Pretty good. Um, not pretty good. Not pretty at all, actually. Um, I still see some stuff on there, too. And that spoon looks kind of okay. I mean, I'd probably have to wash that again, but not terrible. All right, the silverware was just the opening act. Now it's time for the headliner. All right, so I wanted to try another attempt of dishes again, this time without as much detergent, this time getting the unit set properly in there and understanding that the cycle sounds the way it does. And you know, it did okay, check it out. All right, let's look at some of the candidates here. Oh, that's not good at all. That's, that's, that's not good. Uh, this bowl, not so good either. That's pretty gross. This one doesn't look so bad until you hold up the light, then you know, it's not so great either. Well, first of all, the plate's gonna be halfway out, so that's, that's not gonna work too well. You're only gonna get clean half the plate. Then you have to kind of finagle them so that they don't all fall over, which they're doing right now. This one, not good when you hold it up to the light. This one, it doesn't look good at all. How about this coffee cup? Beautiful, look at that, it's beautiful. I use the coffee cup to hold everything in place. Otherwise, we get this. I don't think we really want that. I mean, this is already, just trying to get them to stand up is already a lot of work. Really? Okay. At this point, I could have just washed them by hand. All right, I'm trying to spread them out so as much surface area is showing as possible. That may not be completely possible, but let's do it anyways. Now, I learned my lesson the first time not to add too much detergent, just a little bit. And this has to go more into the water. There we go. All right, spraying water, we gotta adjust it. Am I confident in this? Absolutely not. But we're off and we have our 15 minute cycle coming up. It's gonna be interesting to see. This they call the wave cycle. I think that two minutes is about up. It should be going into the vibration cycle any moment now. Any moment now. There it goes. Very interesting. 
They call this the vibratory sound waves. Do you think that actually helps clean? I don't know. I'm not familiar with vibratory sound waves clean. All right, so it's gonna repeat those cycles for 15 minutes. I'm gonna come back and check on them and see how they look. All right, it has done its 15 minute cycle. Let's see what happens here. The greasy teriyaki mattis bowl actually doesn't look so bad. The saucer held up to the light. Not too bad, really, huh? Okay. Coffee cup still got some stuff in there. Coffee cup's not completely clean. It's got a chunk in there, you got some stuff in there. So it definitely did not get that one clean. Too bad, that was beautiful. The uh, extra nasty bowl, let's see. Uh, there's still some stuff in there. I still see some stuff. Some things and some stuff. And the plate. Need I say more? I think I've seen enough to wrap this thing up. So in the end, I don't really feel like this did any better than just soaking the dishes in warm soapy water and wiping them off afterwards. It sounds nice, it looks nice. I don't think it's necessary. I have a hard time believing that that wave agitation and those sound waves is gonna get caked on food off of dishes. It didn't seem to. No better than just soaking it in the warm water in the first place. So even though nothing really happened, I didn't really feel safe having this plugged into the wall and this dangling over a sink full of water. I don't think you really need it. I feel like just soaking your dishes in the sink is gonna do the same thing. But have you tried something like this? Tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you next time.